he made the comment at one point that like his career took off after he met his wife. He gave her a lot of credit. Like there's something about having that aspect of your life when that aspect of your life is under control and you have focus and you have support and you have love in your life. That's right. You can really explode. Yeah. And it probably wasn't a coincidence that that's that's when his career took off after he met his wife. No, I I, I don't disagree with you there. You know, Kylie Kelsey, right? She's a big Eagles fan. I think grew up right there in Philadelphia or the area. So that helped probably him embrace the whole, you know, circumstance even more. But that's, you know, to your point, Mike, why coaches and everybody, they do they do like a guy a lot of the times when he's married in, in, in certain ways because they know, yeah, at the end of the day, he's going to go home. You know, he's not going to go to the club or the bar, or, you know, go chase girls, do anything like that, not go hang out with, you know, the guys and maybe drink more beers or smoke more weed than he should, right? Anything like that. That's where it does mean something. You know, in a, in a facility that way. And, of course, it does mean something to your career because when you do have a wife at home and young kids, it changes your perspective, as we all know, right, with any business or any person that has a job out there. You start to go, wait, this is bigger than me. I'm working for something else here, too. You know, yeah, I like football. I like making money and all that, but I'm working here to, oh, keep this little cute kid I got here in a, in a great house and a great life and my wife and all of that. So that all starts to hit home. When you got a wife, and especially a wife that seems like she's strong personality, strong person in general, you know, to keep a guy like Jason Kelsey in check a little bit, right? Uh, so that's uh, – I'm not surprised to hear that. I'm not. And uh, uh, they got a cool relationship, as we know. And, you know, the, the Kelseys are just cool. That's what they are. You know, they have found the way of being like – Arr, man, like I'm still a man and I got a man cave, but like also being very aware of society and the way it's changed and being new aged and everything that way too. That's where I really respect the Kelseys, the conversations they have, you know, and then of course their, their ability to be themselves. That's where I'll love Jason or Travis, but you know, Jason, it's his day, whether it's the 2017 Super Bowl parade or even this year. I mean, come on, you know, to go up to Buffalo and just take off your damn shirt with Taylor Swift and company and set the crowd in the country like crazy. I mean, look at these people. They're three sections over. He's getting the middle finger from one of them, but they're, you know, they, they just, they got a great way about them. And I find it hard not to watch them when they're on TV or on a podcast or whatever, uh, because I do think they're cool and they are entertaining. They're low key brilliant. Right. And, yeah. you know, the smartest people out there don't feel compelled to tell you how smart they are. Yeah. They don't feel compelled to use big fancy words all the time. They just are who they are and they blend in with everybody else and they interact with everybody else. And you realize in certain moments, like when he was reading, assuming he wrote it, that thing was extremely well written. And writing is just communication. It's just a different type of communication. It's words you would say reduced to writing that come off in the right way. He really did write an incredible retirement press conference speech for himself. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.